Hi, I'm KV. I don't trust this. Yes, okay. <laughs> this right hi I'm KV and wait 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 let's get composed first let's get composed first yeah I wonder I should do that hmm let me actually check that Oopsie. <laughs> excuse me let's see what that does that gives a little more I should do that hmm. <clears throat> okay so do any now is Hi, I'm KV, and this is the KV Moon Phase Report. And so, well, first off, I chose to start recording when a storm's coming through, so <laughs> there might be some fun ambiance coming soon, which would be kind of exciting, I think. I was just out in it, and it was hailing, so, and I have a tin roof, so it could get kind of fun here, but I should record anyway. So, um... I have originally been writing horoscopes um, at AquariusNation.com and this is my first effort of going outside of my comfort zone to start putting myself um, in this kind of avenue of uh, recording myself and not hiding um, behind the scenes, which is what I would prefer to do, <laughs> which is why you can tell I'm like right now like, oh gosh, here we go. But now I'm going to do this. I know this is what I'm supposed to do. It's just um, a big leap for me, so be patient for a little while while I catch up and um, get comfortable with this, because I am a behind the scenes like I like to write but anyway so I've been writing horoscopes at AquariusNation.com and I was invited to come to Roots and Feathers and start doing another interpretation of the horoscopes um, astrology for you all and by the amazing Laura who is a phenomenal human being and I consider this a great honor to be here now but so we wanted to do something different so we decided to do a video blog of it all so here goes but so my first one we're going to be talking about is which is such perfect timing I'm so glad that it's happening now but um, we're building up in two days time to the new moon on March 11th which is at 20 degrees Pisces and it just so happens to be my birthday so I'm excited about that but anyway so what we have in the skies right now is we have seven planets that are in Pisces and that's crazy that's like that's like that's over half of the planets are all in this very watery mutable element right now and this is why um, kind of like the main things going on for people right now is that like um, there's too much of a variety, whether it's uh, too much to have to do, too much to think about, um, too much so that you can't really figure out how to get stable in your life. Like, there's just this overwhelming kind of like, ah, pressure, because basically, we're being in all this mutable water, we're kind of all out to sea right now. And um, it's basically something that's like you are out in a boat and you can't see when you're going to reach land because there's fog in the sky, you know. So it's like you have no clue if you're really close to it. And there's nothing you can really anchor on, grab onto. And there's so much of this water element that it's kind of keeping us all from really being grounded in the moment. And um, that's all going to change, of course, but that's kind of what's going on. That's kind of the flavor of, you know, the energies out there right now. And it's been kind of intense, you know, and some people can handle it pretty well. You know, water signs are a little more apt to be able to function in this kind of energy, but, you know, especially real earthy people, you know, it's like, ah, <laughs> there's no stability right now, and there's not supposed to be, you know. Basically, the whole point of the energies right now is to pull you inward, make you get go silent, help you to meditate, help you to kind of um, get to that zero space of nothing, no thoughts, no action, 
you know, just kind of stillness and um, surrendering. You know, it's that's kind of a big thing right now is having to surrender to these energies um, because you're out in water, you know. And another thing that's happening too is that there's no boundaries with this energy right now. So like, it's another reason things can feel kind of intense, like being out in a store, like everybody, we're kind of all in this pool together and by being in this pool, all of our energies are going out and mixing with everybody else. So you can't really tell what's yours, what's mine. And there's just lots of frantic energy out there. So, you know, I kind of noticed it <laughs> when it was kind of funny because you know, when I'm out and about, like, I'll always know everybody who works at every store, because I just, I like to, I like to, um, treat everybody like they're my friend, you know, just because they work there and I'm a patron, why am I not, not going to be like, hey, you know, so I kind of always get to know everybody, or at least acknowledge them as a human being, but I found that the past week, like, I would go out and I couldn't even like make eye contact with anybody, you know. I was just like, <sighs> you know, and even almost like, don't look at me, don't talk to me. Like if ever I look like a total bitch being in a store, it was this past week. Because <laughs> normally I make every effort to be present for whoever I'm going to bump into. And I was like that too. Don't stop me. Don't interrupt me. I don't want to see anybody I know. I'm too busy. Leave me alone. I can't get things organized. But so... You're kind of feeling like that too. They're also with the boundary thing. We're so sensitive because Pisces is very sensitive, you know. So even things like music, will you'll be sensitive to music, to people's energies, to people's moods. All that stuff has us really just feeling kind of raw right now. But we have this really awesome movement that's about to happen. Um, so the planets that we have right now, all in Pisces, we have Neptune, we have Chiron, Venus, Mercury, Mars, the Sun, and the Moon. And what's happening the day after the new moon is that the uh, Mars is in the last degree of Pisces on the day of the new moon. And then the next day it moves into Aries and Mars rules Aries. Mars is what Aries is all about. That's that, you know, me first, let's go, let's just get this, let's just get this done. You know, Pisces is gonna, is gonna be more sitting back and going, oh, let's just dream about what we want to have happen, you know? And that's honestly where you're supposed to be right now. You're supposed to be sitting back going, let's just dream about it, <laughs> you know? That's the most powerful thing you can do right now. But um, what's gonna happen is that Mars is gonna shift the energy and then we're gonna be like, oh yeah, I can do this now. You know, you're supposed to be like, I wanna expand like this, I wanna have this happen in my life, I wanna change that, like those kind of things you're thinking right now. And then Mars is gonna come in and kind of fuel you up and plug you in and then suddenly you'll be like, yeah! And then Aries, you know, is the beginning of the zodiac, so it's, it's the new beginning Aries point anyway, but it's gonna have even more of this like, uh, new, fresh, let's get this party started because all of these other planets were clumped together and so concentrated in that Pisces, sit back and think it over. Mercury has also been retrograde, um, so that's going to be retrograde until the 17th, and then that will start moving forward, but so Mercury too being retrograde in Pisces, I mean, it's just been the hugest thing of like, needing to go inward and pull back and think things over. Anything you wanted to do technology-based, especially being in Pisces, has been a nightmare. Like, I even went through that, like, um, with trying to find a video camera because everybody was like, you can't do the webcam. They look crappy when you do them. And I'm like, oh, man. And then that just makes me have to figure out what to do. So then I got on there and, like, have 10 million options. I can't believe that whole thing scam of crap like I swear it's one company who owns them all it has to be and then there's just that's an example of too much variety you know I'd go through and I'd find one and then I'd be like, okay this is it this is it and then I would realize it has one thing I don't want you know and like oh I needed this thing and that's the only one that I wanted but it doesn't have this thing you know and then I have to go through them all again and then I also found myself being so susceptible to the comments people make. And that's one reason I want to start something on my website, Aquarius Nation. I want to have all my writers share 
like our, um, we'll do our own critique of things, because so often I'm like, who are these people, you know? How, how, why should I trust them? This, you know, it could be someone who's not even like me at all, or liking the things that I would like, and, but I do notice how influenced I am, because I would find one, I'd be like, okay, this is it, and then I'd go, okay, let me check the comments, and okay, good, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good, and then I'd come to one, and, oh, this is bad, you don't want this camera, don't, oh, no, <laughs> I'd trust it, you know, and then be like, okay, I'm off to the next one. So it was a nightmare. And then I realized I had a camera that could record. <laughs> Hi, this one. So that was like two days wasted of nonsense. And this one might not be the best quality, so I still need to work up to something, but this will do for now, you know. I wasted two days of technological nonsense. So this is something that you might be able to relate to. I know a lot of people were having technology issues. That's one of those elements of just like too much information. So anyway, Mercury is going to go direct on the 17th. Mars goes into Aries on the 12th. So that's going to get us really like, yeah, you know, we're really going to get ready to like start moving forward on all these things we've been thinking about the past couple weeks, you know, and all the changes we want to make. It's also coming together with spring. It's so perfectly timed. We're all like rebirth. So, um, we're not really going to be able to move forward so easily um, when Mars does go into Aries because we do, we do still have the Mercury going backwards and he wants us to reconsider, you know, he still like has us pulled back to be like, you know, look at this in another way, check out some more angles of this, there's something you're missing, you know, that kind of element. So, but then by the time Mercury goes direct, I mean, yeah and then a little farther into it, um, it's really going to be time to push forward and by the full moon especially two weeks from now, like a lot of those planets that are in Pisces, four of them will, or three of them will be joining with Uranus all in Aries. So this is going to be a really big huge rebirth kind of <laughs> cycle we're all moving into. And what's really awesome too is that you know, looking at the planets and how they're lined up on this new moon. This is probably like one of the most exciting new moons maybe in our life. And it just so spells out that this is the actual portal opening of the age of Aquarius that we have been contemplating. Was it 122112? 12, 12? Planetarily, it says it's right now um, with this new moon. And you know, even how Pluto and Saturn are supporting each other in this too, in a sextile, and like everything in the chart is really supporting this movement of moving into compassionate oneness. And like, because ultimately that's the main thing we're like moving towards. We're just moving towards the energy of looking out at everyone, everything, animal, trees, everything, and kind of feeling a oneness for them so that we don't want to rape and deplete them and exploit them. We instead want to support them and empower them and celebrate them, you know? And um, so with all these planets coming together in Pisces, I've kind of written about this a little bit that I was seeing how kind of the opportunity um, of moving into Aquarius into the age of that kind of universal oneness, we have to first come to that universal compassion um, for all. That like, you know, and that's what all this Pisces has really been wanting us to do, is to open our hearts, to cry more, to feel more, to feel how we're all kind of connected. I've been noticing a lot of people in Facebook um, making these comments about uh, awakening to this kind of oneness with animals and I had the same thing happen one day when I was out with the dogs and I was just watching them and it was just I don't know there was just this overwhelming feeling of like we're all the same thing but we express ourselves in different ways you know and we have control over the animals so we kind of because they can't speak up because they can't necessarily fight back so we've just controlled and exploited them, but like we're all kind of the same thing. And it's kind of even hard to explain, but when it hits you, you get it, you know? And that's the point of what's happening to people is kind of getting to this point of, you know, we are all connected, dude. And 
it doesn't hurt to or it doesn't help to put another being species breed down and label it as something that's not good enough or something that's bad or not worthy of love and a good life and happiness and you know so basically I was seeing how to move into the Aquarius as the universal vibration we have to first open our hearts to the oneness of compassion um, and awakening to becoming compassionate beings and that is the higher expression of Pisces whereas the lower is you know totally creating a victim world and a sheep following world and uh, you abide by the higher hierarchy's rules and you just you know you just take it you just it's how it is it's because it's how it is would be something you would say <laughs> you know Whereas like the higher and moving, the higher Pisces and moving into Aquarius is going to say, but why is it like that? And why do we accept that? Because it doesn't really make sense. And just because the masses believe this, you know? So, my whole point, <laughs> I linger a lot. I'm a tangent. I'm queen of tangents. But so, is that we have to kind of, to be able to go through the birth canal into Aquarius, we have to uh, express as the highest um, vibration of Pisces. So we have to move away from the victim mentality, escaping life through drug abuse, alcoholism, any kind of addiction that kind of keeps you from being present. Um, with what you need to deal with that's very Pisces, you know, um, very lower Pisces. And so we kind of have to, to get through the birth canal, we kind of have to evolve to that highest Pisces, that highest loving, compassionate, dreamy Pisces. So I believe that right now this is what this has all been kind of about. And I also do know that the portal opening, like the actual opening of this energy flooding the earth, is surrounded by several years. And I was kind of hearing 2007, and I don't know if that means we have to go that much farther in the other direction, because what, that's, where are we, 13, six years? Um, which, I mean, whatever. We'll do what we have to do, but there's the um, there's the there's the overlap because it doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> you know, there's the overlap because all this stuff has to go in layers. And I wonder. I need to look up 2007. I wonder why I heard that. I mean, I did because I did, but that'll be interesting to see what kind of happened then to for me to now be saying that that's you know a time that we started to awaken to this new stuff but now it will continue on um, with it just gaining in more clarity, more love, more purity, more high vibration, more doing the right thing, more honoring yourself, more um, putting bigger limits on what you expect in life, not taking the whatever anymore not just going with we're so wait I was like we're supposed to go with the flow but not just going with the flow when it's not really the right thing to do you know going with the flow is all about Pisces but not when it's sacrificing your own self-respect or doing the right thing you know because we always have to stand up for things that aren't right that's how we bring about change. <laughs> Enough people going, um, excuse me? So, that is, let me see if there's anything else. Mm, and also, you know, check out, oh, you know what? I know what I can say. So, here's what I was going to do with these, because this is a brand new thing that I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm also very not scripted. What I did look down at, I'll show you. Because whenever I write up the charts, I don't just print them out. I'm really kind of... I'm really kind of old school, I guess you could say about that. I like to draw them out because there's something about drawing all the symbols, seeing where they're, as I'm doing it, I don't know, it's so much, it's so much um, more valuable to me. I would do that. I used to do that when I used to, when I was interpreting birth charts, when I only got a couple. <laughs> now I get so many, I can't do it. I have to print it up, but I still don't. It takes me longer to go into them when I just look at it. Whereas when I write it, like each one like encodes me as I write it. But anyway, so this is what this one looks like for this 
This is this one. And you can see, here's what the next full moon. I never go ahead in time, but I did this time. Here's the full moon. That's what we'll be looking at next. But anyway, so that's what I look down at. But anyway, so <laughs> what I'm going to be doing is um, the first, this will be like the main, where I'll just kind of talk about the energies of the moment. And then after this, you can go click down on your... Uh, at least your sun and your rising sign. I'll do each one of those individual and this is a new moon so we'll talk about your, what you want to be focusing to bring more of into your life or you want to put in your energies of what you want to see manifesting in your life and then we'll talk about what happens where Mars moves in your chart and you know it really does help if you have a chart um, it's best to be, have, be as detailed as possible with them because even me this uh, this new moon is right on my second house cusp so I'm gonna want to read about the second house and the third house you know it's not just gonna be the third house I'm gonna want to read about the second house too so it really does help for you to be able to look at that um, and see where it really is sometimes you have intercepted planets so sometimes two signs are on this neck on the same two ha are on this on consecutive houses so it's going to push everything else in a different way and I'm actually going to be offering some classes to learn this more because I really for me I want to teach you this I don't just want to be a uh, uh, the holder of the power like I, I've always even when I do birth charts I put them in a book because I want you to learn it <laughs> you know I share it in a way because I want you to learn it. I want you to be able to apply this to your daily life. So it's going to be one main like this every two weeks, and then you can read about your sun and rising. You can read your moon too, because we are multidimensional. It's kind of fun to get that element too. So um, I wonder if that's all I want to say for this one. I'll probably look and see it wasn't even recording. <laughs> no, don't even say that. Don't even put that out there. Um, but I think that's all. Let me think here a minute if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. Well, I can tell you this. You can also go to AquariusNation.com and I do written horoscopes there. <laughs> so if I did miss anything here, I will catch it in writing because... Oh, I shouldn't say that. I was like, because I write more than I talk, but then I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't say that. That's not really true. I talk a lot, too. I ramble on. So we're going to stop there, and this is the first episode of the KV Moon Page Report, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got something out of it, and please do check the written ones, because... I go a lot further on other things when I'm writing, so that's AquariusNation.com. Okay. Have a beautiful day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>